What up nomads? In this video, I share 10 items to pack when you are not traveling in luxury. I mean, the backpacking, Europe on a shoestring kinds of trips, where you're couch surfing, staying in hostels, or staying on a friend's couch. Let's go. Number one is to pack your own sleeping accessories. Now, normally when traveling to a hotel or a nice Airbnb, it would be completely stupid to pack your own pillow, sheets, and blanket. What a waste of space. But when staying in dubious places or simply unpredictable lodgings, you may be happy to have your own travel pillow. Perhaps it's one that inflates or just an airplane pillow that kind of doubles as a pillow that you can sleep on during your trip. An emergency blanket is also something great to pack and they're usually pretty thin and can add warmth. Or bring a sleeping bag liner, which can make any questionable bed just a little bit safer and more hygienic. Likewise, this might be a time when you wanna pack your own travel towel. These pack really small and can be nice in a place with no amenities. Number three is reusable dining accessories. By this, I mean cutlery, reusable chopsticks, camping style plates. So often, budget backpacking trips mean foregoing eating out for every meal and opting for quick grocery store bites or assembling your own meals on the go. Having a set of supplies to make that easier is so helpful and also environmentally friendly. Number four is related to keeping your goods safe and that's locks, stainless steel rope, zipper locks, and personal travel safes. These items can help your bag stay secured from pickpockets, as well as allowing you to lock important things to a radiator, for example, if you're leaving them for the day and don't trust your hostel, don't trust that your Airbnb won't be broken into, um, or don't trust the hotel. Number five is a local SIM card with data enabled or a portable Wi-Fi router. When not staying at a hotel, it can be harder to hop from Wi-Fi network to Wi-Fi network on the go. You also might be changing accommodations more often and need internet access to book and plan your next leg. Having your own way to connect to the internet independent of your accommodations may be key in this situation. It might be necessary in order to practice good cyber safety. And I have a video all about how to protect your online activity when on vacation, which I'll link below. Number six is earbuds and eye masks. You may want to take a nap on the train or your hostel might be super noisy. In any case, blocking out noise and light might be necessary and having accessories will help. And the worst thing is to feel tired on your trip when you have a day of activities and sightseeing ahead. Next, you'll also want to pack supplies to wash your clothing by hand. If you're backpacking, chances are you don't have a ton of room in your bag for a lot of change of clothes. And you may also not be able to wash your clothes in a washer that often because you're not staying in like really nice places. I recommend wearing merino wool clothes because you don't have to wash them as often because of the antimicrobial properties of wool and packing some solid laundry soap and maybe even a rope to make your own clothesline where you're staying. My personal advice is to book an Airbnb with a washing machine at some point in your trip so you can do a whole refresh of your packed clothes. But in between, hand washing can also do the trick. You can even buy a little pouch that makes it easier and is great for hand washing delicates when you're at home. Number eight is shower shoes because the reality of a hostel or shared showers may just make you grateful to have some shower shoes to protect your feet. Nine may surprise you, but it's small gifts. When I couch surf or stay with friends while traveling, I always come with gifts. You can buy them on location or bring them from home for a more personal touch. If you don't wanna pack anything, you can take them out to dinner or cook dinner for them at home. I have a whole blog post on how to be a great house guest, which I'll link below. And number 10 is travel insurance. Not necessarily something you pack, although you can totally pack a copy of your policy with you, but I always recommend having travel insurance because when you're in a bind, you might need assistance fast. And if you're in a more precarious lodging situation, having a network of partners through a credit card provider that has travel insurance or travel insurance that you've purchased independently can be super helpful. 
I also recommend having copies of all phone numbers and emergency contacts related to your embassy, health travel insurance, photocopies of your passport, and even a printed application for a temporary passport ready to be filled out and brought to your local embassy should anything happen to your passport. This was only 10 items, but I'm curious to hear from all you budget travelers out there what your must-haves are. Leave a comment below and happy travels. Thanks for watching this video until the end. For more content like this, make sure you subscribe to The Capsule Suitcase and turn on notifications so you get all the fresh content as soon as it comes out. Thanks for supporting this channel. Happy travels.